Hello to you all, Millie Lloyd. Today's old school opinion is on Sony and Microsoft join forces. Where will it all lead? Before we begin, please like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It will help the channel grow and make an old man happy. So let's get into the video. So a couple of weeks ago, something happened, so hell froze over. Some might say the seventh seal was broken, the four horsemen stood atop of a hill of human skulls, the seas boiled with a hue of blood red, and the sun darkened for seven days and seven nights. It was pitch black without a star nor moon in the sky. On the seventh day light broke through the clouds, and a voice boomed from everywhere, from above and below in unison, we are working together. Yes, finally after all of these years, and not for the first time, both Sony and Microsoft are working together in some strange capacity. As of yet we have no real idea of how shallow or how deep bed bodies Sony and Microsoft are. Earlier this year we had word of Nintendo and Microsoft as a thing. I thought that that may have been going somewhere, but we have got E3 coming up and I do think there is a chance of a mention about the partnership or partnerships. At this time I can see three options, soft, meh and hard, so let's start off with soft. Pretty much it is just the use of the servers and working together to speed up streaming for those brand new consoles in 2020. To me this works for Sony and not so much for Microsoft. As well I think there is more to this than just a streaming side of things or the money Sony has paid Microsoft. I think it has more to do with more competitors and something I will get into later. For me there would be little point to this being announced to the public. This would have been more behind the scenes stuff for boardrooms and meetings, so this to me is the least likely due to the announcement. So we move on to the meh, the one that is most likely, but it's a few trades and lesser exclusives, nothing too big, but enough for people to take notice. This is most likely because neither company loses too much nor goes too deep and smart business decisions mean they all get a share. If this is in response to Google and Amazon however, I don't think it's enough. It's too much of a warning shot rather than a statement. And I suppose the threat might just be enough but I don't see it. And so we go in hard where they have both sold their souls to each other. Having both streaming services on both consoles, whether the exclusives are either limited or timed for the console, they will be pretty much unstoppable. This might be unlikely for now, but I do believe that one day it will be one console that will exist. And maybe you buy the Sony brand or the Microsoft brand, and I believe it is maybe only one or two generations from the next generation console. For now, they may value those mainstay exclusives too much, but if they see Google and Amazon as that big of a threat, they do have the odd option in their pocket. So let's break this down. The more competitors there are in the console war, the less sales for those brand new consoles. We are hearing a higher price point for the new tech. As such, they have to consider the tech that's going into the machine the games they have to offer and the streaming services. They will all matter a lot this generation. For Amazon and Google, if they have a competitive price point to them, they may become the cheaper option. Then expect the hard choice from Sony and Microsoft if all else fails. Either way, watch the stage at E3 because I would not be totally surprised to see a reenactment of what we saw at the Game Awards. I mean, Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft representatives sharing the stage to make some sort of surprise announcement. Whatever happens in the next two years, it sure as hell is going to get interesting damn quick. So 
So that about wraps it up. If you would, please visit my channel and leave your opinion in the comments down below. I will answer you all. Have a great day, Old School Gamer 1971, signing off.